Espresso Manish is back with another uh, season here with Caben Telly, or I don't know what this series is called still. Uh, I guess developing youngsters in Ireland, or or the I Irish under Irish underdogs. The youth Irish underdogs. I, I like the name on that. I might actually call it that. So as you can see, we have actually not spent too much. I'm so, I don't know where the money comes from. It's not like we're super rich. Okay, I guess I could show you. Look at that. It's not like we have a, f a lot of money, but still it seems like we have more. Uh, 150. 150k. Our dear club worth. I had no transfer buddies whatsoever in Geisley. I don't understand why I have it here and why I have 16,000k. And sure, I, I've actually signed a lot of new players and still we have so much wage budget. I don't know. And oh uh, well, uh, so let's go for transfers here and then we'll go through most of the squad. I released some players. We might just go back here because I don't need. Will I? They, they will show up on both, but that seems strange. So we, as you probably seen uh, before, uh, or I go back and see that then uh, corner M McKay or Mikey there, uh, Paul Fox, Ian Fletcher, Carl uh, Byrne, Jimmy Broderick, which was a youth player but I just felt like he wasn't enough we had many others Dylan no it's kind of funny I've signed <laughs> signed some here last season and then just nope and uh, I guess it was some from the older train as well um, Ross Broderick are they hmm they have the same name well, it might not be like that. It might just not be like it. Jimmy McCarthy. Oh yeah, I was youth player. That was terrible. And as you can see, we put some players out alone. I bought Robert Dunn here. Unfortunately, he wasn't enough for us right now, it said. But I saw him as good enough still. And born uh, a bohemian. Did not want them left, so I don't know. So he's a white hole. Maybe he can perform. I mean, he's good. Uh, he's pretty good technical stats for uh, forward and um, good attacking there. Only 19 still. Moran, I got him out as well. I guess we will see if he. I don't know if this club even is good enough. It's lower division, so I. They are amateur, so I'm not sure if they even will give something. But Keith uh, O'Haran as well. We have better players. We went and got them out. And Donnelly, he, he got the boot. He got the boot and he went away. <laughs> okay. The, the ability here says that he has something about him. But he did clearly not show it for me and 6.59 is terrible and so unfortunately Jack uh, or Jake, Jake Donnelly has to find another club. John, uh, Joe Woods did a pretty good match but we got some, I, I feel like he's not fantastic by any means and we got some better younger uh, right backs so just like as I said it in the last episode and it was a little bit long but I will keep it shorter now I wanted him out if we got better uh, right backs okay but unfortunately cool cool again as you can see here's our main guy here he's just 17 but he's already pretty good I would say for uh, uh, right back, pretty good mental, decent physical. He's good in what he should be good. Uh, crossing is still six, so it's not terrible. So he's pretty good, seventeen. But unfortunately, we 
assigned some other ones, as you would see. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit funny. This these goes to a bigger or better team than us. Dean Mayhem. I was impressed by his marking. That was mostly why I signed him. And his position is also brilliant for a central defender. He's done pretty good also. He actually played in the Irish Leinster Senior uh, Cup. Yes, that is what he call. And he did pretty good. He has pretty good pace and pretty... Uh, I guess balance and agility could be better, but still not terrible. Heading heading could be better, I guess. His heading could be better, but marking, I like that. So far, okay, he's, he's not fantastic, but now at least says that he's one of the four. And he did, he, he surpassed Pat McCarthy, which we got in last season. He's sort of one that might might more be in the youth squad, but might if someone else not does. As you can see, he also got the cup game there. But we have got a lot more of um, experience right now. Garrett Kim Cambridge. Uh, he played a, uh, or he started. He was actually in Cork some. Matches here. He has actually played uh, 18 uh, Premier Division matches in Irish Division or whatever. And the recent seasons he's been off from the main stage or whatever, but it still performs pretty good. And as you can see, pretty man good mental stats all around and 12 in dribbling. He so he might be brilliant. He wants to. He, uh, I don't know why, but he wants to play in the central midfield. I am not allowed in him to play there because his tackling and marking is just terrible. So he will mostly, as, I mean, his good technical abilities and he's really good sort of leader or whatever. Uh, so that's nice. But he is sort of a backup for Galvin. Then we might be able to rest Galvin. Even Galvin, there you have him. They're sort of similar, I guess we could. Yeah, it's not too much of a difference there, so... Mon Kren. I don't know, he's he's not brilliant right now, but he's he has some potential, and I thought... Uh, well, he's not going to get played probably in Derry, so... I thought, why not... What? Did we... Okay, I don't know if it's because I loaned him at the uh, or loaned him when it was December. Well, well here he is anyway. So he is a Northern Irish player. And he has good teamwork, good work rate. Okay, he's not brilliant, but physically okay. I guess he can be better, but six and sevens. Cool, uh, colon. Cool, cool, coolian, coolian. I don't even know. Good teamwork. That's nice to see. Many of these youth players has good teamwork, good decision, good tackling. Actually, a good free kicker as well. But he will start in the youth team. I signed many players which have potential enough to be in the first squad. But right now they are sort of youth team and would probably develop more uh, to play there. A uh, lot of fours, unfortunately, but he's pretty versatile as well. Yeah, many players here that might not be a first team players, but they are like per players to be developed. Pet Doyle, I don't know why they got annoyed, but our board got annoyed for me getting in this. I mean, he's great termination and great decisioning. I'm mostly looking if they have the style, if they can develop our determinate and then would be able to develop. It's a good technical and good long term. Maybe a left winger he could be. I feel like he, yeah, again, not the best. Doyle there, he's just 16. I've just checked a lot of players, which I thought 
well, these players are, they have decent fitness and decent mentality, so they might. Eon Dorfree, also a player, only 16. Uh, all these players come from like amateur teams, so they get the chance on a, a sim semi-professional level. Then we got the um, transfer um, or the transfer signing we already had made. Sean Russell, I'm not that impressed actually. Okay, his stats looks brilliant for this level. All around 11s and 10s and even free kicks um, and great determination there but I was expecting more so we might just switch now and now and then. Uh, Michael Brown he still has one of the best crossings in the league so uh, or crossings in the team so it might actually be a player to go for he was not great in the cup either so I'm not sure still he has one of the highest uh, wages so that's not the best but I feel like did not say that he was so good here only two stars I, I I'm not too sure but checking out his stats it was a little bit like short Charlton he has had nines and tens all around so I thought of well he could be good unfortunately it's 28 so he's not super young but he can play on both wings as well, so unfortunately it says there that cool again is better. It might be true, but I thought, well, this player is, pro as you can see there, is pretty good defense and pretty good technical stats. Cool again is great though. He has some great potential, already pretty good, uh, even, yeah main player so Ford I brought in as well a youth player here has great first touch great leadership great work great and great teamwork so uh, and great team player so to say uh, pretty good determination and decisioning there free kicks not too bad and technical skills not too bad either he will sit in the youth team for now and uh, slay uh, Later, I've tried to get rid of him because I feel like he's our third choice, both on left and right wing. But unfortunately, I haven't got him rid so far. But he has a high wages. I would like to get him out of the team. And Ian Ford there. Uh, I I tried to strengthen up because Zoe Doyle always complains on me. Why do we don't have a better? Uh, uh, attacking uh, force. Well, I did not. I can't really find anyone that is brilliant so far. And Dylan McCavern is. If he still scores seven goals, and he has actually scored. Yeah, he has been my top scorer this season as well. So it's not too bad. But I would mostly probably still play with uh, one striker up top. And Pat could be the player, the other player, but he has not been brilliant so far, but hopefully he can step up. So that is everyone um, right now. So pretty interesting there. Preseason-wise, not that great. But hopefully, and oh, yeah, this was probably the most terrible thing. Losing this Tolka Rovers. Wow, they are even an amateur team match. But oh well, uh, today we meet you, uh, University College, at, uh, College Dublin, which is the top team. And um, expectation-wise, I feel like we have a better team, and we, as you can see, it's like last season we had. Uh, the odds of us winning the league was 205, I believe. So now it's 201. Still, it's pretty high, but they seem to think that we at least is somewhat better. And I like this very ambitious trainer there. 27, I'm probably the youngest trainer. 53. Oh, yeah. And another thing, which I thought to mention here, um, was that I'm, I also checking out if there is some clubs 
I believe I, yeah, brain tree. I applied for some other job as well. Torque, I want Torque because Torque, they, ha they have a trainer which have just had this Torque job. Okay, he was the assistant manager. He's, it's not been that long. He's not that experienced, and so I hope I might get this job. I like to stay here, even if we have terrible expectations. Though, but I like to build slowly and upwards. So we eventually, I might stay here for like 10 seasons or something because I feel so investigated to get this, getting this team better. So O'Neill as the Shadow Striker there and uh, McCavern, so Doyle, O'Neill, McCavern, and Brown, Galvin, Braille, I, I tried Braille as a defensive midfielder and it worked pretty good. Uh, L Lally, Lally, I believe I even got to come in here. They doesn't say that he's good. I believe he has potential, so I don't care about my scouts or whatever. So Andrews and Mayhem play or start there together as well. Uh, McCavern. He's played better recently, so hopefully he can do it. And Cooligan and Kellick, I believe, actually were. Um, which club was it now? They were a Premier or an Irish Premier Division club that was after Heffern. Uh, but I feel like Kelly is a little bit more experienced and. He he saves it sometimes. Not that Heffern is bad, but he's not. He makes more mistakes, or I don't know. He, he doesn't make more mistakes per se, but he's not that experienced or whatever. And I rather play or start with Kelly there. So I like to have so low in so few instructions as possible. Uh, fairly wide. Direct passing, yes, okay. Let's just go to this match and see what we can get. Close encounter. Well, they are s right at, they are at least third. Uh, expected third in the league. They might even, they were, I believe they went to the playoff last season so I feel like sometimes we do better games against this big team and <laughs> and when we are expected to win like against so maybe maybe it could be good to mostly just play smaller team I, I need to figure out a way where we can like surprise both team that we surprise and also team that we are sort of equal and maybe even better than but oh well if we get the point i'm happy today and i will i i want probably to i want of course to take more points than last season last season i just to remember i we took here in cape and Telly 24 points i was really not happy with the ending we Ended with uh, two nil in uh, the last three matches. So hopefully, it can. If we can have a better ending, that would be most beneficial. I want twenty eight. I said my goal for thirty, but I want to see progression most of all. I feel at least we're defensively better than we might be offensively less good I don't know not to say that we lost so many <laughs> unfortunately Nathan O'Rourke is uh, really injured prone it seems like so that's not the greatest nil nil um, well Doyle is apparently not doing it for us let's try in four there and uh, let's just not make too many changes okay well <sighs> We have not had too much. They have not had too much. I'm not. I'm still not. Still not super bad because it could have been worse. Could have let let go more chances or whatever. 
Could get good there. Good interception. Cobert. I guess we will see after this match which game I will be back for. Ian Ford, McCovern, O'Neill, McCovern, Bradley. Oh, no, he has a yellow card. And now he's out. I, I should have known that. I When I saw his yellow card, it was like, oh, he will be sent out because he has a yellow card. Sounded strange, but surely I was right. Who has played the best today? Not O'Neill, so... Maybe we would take them both out. Of course. Of course it happens in the game where I have like no central midfielders. Ugh. That's just terrible. Well, let's hope that you at least can do this. This might be a silly... Silly thing by me, but we will. You're perfect as the anchor man, at least. Target man much might actually be better there, and we will go and counter for sure, even if it's home. I mean, if we can nick a point, I'm pretty happy after being one man sent off. Okay, good there, Russell. Now we have the free kick taker. Oh, I should probably change. I don't know if I s set the free kick taker or the set piece taker. Oh, we had that. Uh, who is good at corner then? Oh, it's you. Okay. And Michael Brown will be the second. And long throws. He's, he's Sean Russell. That might just be the thing. He's just good at all set pieces or whatever. Ford, Russell, Brown, can you get some backup there? Nice. Ian Ford, ah, oh, no. Why is, why is the, our back line so high up? I know I have closed down much more, but seriously, that's the problem. If I have them not close down, then they just let the play go and do not ever push forward. If I have them on the other way, it's... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just silent right now. <laughs> Waiting for something to happen here. Brown cover. I mean, it's not a bad game per se, since... U at C D is still uh, like a top team or not the best play, but just one man sent off. It's not too much to do. Really. Can Brown can you do something, Russell? Maybe we can get a free kick or something here that would be beneficial. No, a counter counter attack from them instead. Oh well. Yes what I wanted. Oh well. Well, it was not surprising for me to lose this match still, but I am thinking of actually bringing back uh, what is called Moran because he still scored the goals. Okay, can we? Can we please? Oh. Of course, let them have. At least they don't have their best free kickers <laughs> because we am them then. That might just be the way we will... Ugh, it would be good and cool game was terrible as well. Uh, even if we're invested in... <laughs> invested... Uh, not money, but we're <laughs> invested uh, still in new players. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to see. Drogheda or... Cobb. Rambles because Cub Rambles they come from Premier Division, so we might play them there. And I just want to play some more matches. Look at this as well. We have terrible this is score, but here I believe, yeah, Dylan may score too. But well, I will be back then. So thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And Feel free to subscribe, comment and all that fun stuff and I see you soon again so bye!